flu hitting early as vaccines effectiveness questioned. Columbus we're not yet in peak flu season, but influenza cases so far are double the number recorded at the same time last year. And there are questions about the effectiveness of this year's flu vaccine. Columbus we're not yet in peak flu season, but influenza cases so far are double the number recorded at the same time last year. And there are questions about the effectiveness of this year's flu vaccine. Flu shots on average are about 40% effective. But the effectiveness of year's batch is predicted to be only 10%, according to early reports from the Centers for Disease Control. The effectiveness of vaccines can vary widely depending on the strain of the flu virus and other factors. And while reported flu cases typically ramp up after the holidays, this year, the quick and intense onset of fever, chills, aches and nausea associated with flu appear to be striking early. It's hitting a little bit harder, said Dr. Bruce Jones, Emergency Department Medical Director for Ohio Health Doctors Hospital. I've seen worse years. But as mild as the fall has been, we've seen a number of cases. This is National Influenza Vaccination Week, and Jones and other health professionals recommend that everyone get a flu shot. Jones, 49, who has five children, said he's never had the flu. But he gets his shot every year, sensitive to his work around patients and ability to spread the illness. One of about a dozen recent flu cases at doctors was a middle aged woman with classic symptoms fever, body aches and cough, Jones recalled. The rapidity with how symptoms start. Flu hits you like a Mack truck. It hits you fast and hits you hard. And that's a week of your life that you feel horrible and a week that's completely shot. According to the CDC, there have been about 7,000 cases of flu reported in the U.S. since this fall, twice as many as last year for the period ending November 25th. It is considered widespread in Georgia. Louisiana, Massachusetts and Oklahoma. Columbus Public Health logged 29 cases of flu in the week ending November 25. But that figure has jumped 41% in the first week in December. We're definitely seeing an uptick, said Columbus Public Health Commissioner Dr. Michika Williams-Roberts. The department surveys more than 1,000 clinics and doctors' offices, but does not include patients admitted to hospitals, she said. Science de Fitcher, state epidemiologist and chief of the Ohio Bureau of Infectious Diseases, does track more serious cases. We're starting to see our hospitalization reports going up, she said. For the week ending November 25, 35 people were admitted for flu in Ohio. Since early October, there have been 165 admissions, she said. Some flu seasons may start now. Sometimes it starts in January. This seems to me that it will be an early season. Delaware County has had two reported cases requiring hospitalization, said Tracy Whitaker, spokeswoman of the Delaware General Health District. It's still pretty early in the game, she said. But we're still recommending everyone get the flu shot. Right now is the prime time to get one. It takes two weeks for the antibodies to get into your system and take effect and we're two weeks out from Christmas. This is the time, before you go visit your grandma or maybe babies who are prone to get sick more. This year's vaccine, drawn on virus samples in Australia, which sets the stage for a U.S. vaccine, covers four different strains. Since September, the Delaware District has given out more than 2,100 flu shots, 400 more than this time last year, Whitaker said. The cost is $30 but for those without insurance there is a sliding charge, based on income and other factors. It's difficult to predict what the main strains are going to be and how effective the vaccines are going to be, said Dr. Jones. People think if they get the shot, they are automatically immune. Still, experts agree that any flu vaccine can help lessen the spread of the illness to others and prevent complications requiring hospitalization.